What's up guys, Sea Dog here, and you're watching Motor Time Motorsports, where dirt meets the rubber. And uh, I literally just posted a video yesterday, and I was like, you know what, I promise you guys we're gonna start making videos, we're making a video. So what I'm doing today is going to get the race car, going to get her, and we're bringing her back home. Uh, I'm gonna bring her in the shop, show you guys some updates on the shop, everything we had going on there. Uh, we, get her, we got her cleaned up pretty good. Um, we still got a lot more to do, but um, she's coming along. I'm excited about that. It was a pain in the butt trying to go get this car today because I was using my truck. And of course, of all days, I got to drive an hour to go pick up that car. Um, started smelling coolant. And I was like, whatever. I, I didn't think anything of it. And my old man got my truck and smelled coolant. So I was like, that is awesome. So pop, pop the hood. And it could have been worse, but busted the radiator in my truck. So I had to try to use wrist twisters truck. That was a pain in the butt because his hitch, long story, his hitch won't work. So spent forever trying to figure that out. And finally, wanted to get my old man's truck. I'm driving back to get the trailer now. I had to unload a bunch of junk out of here. Long story short, I already said the long story, but anyway, going to get the car and I figured I'd take you guys along with me. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna go get her. She's ready to go. Back it up to the trailer. Uh, if you guys know, it's a pain in the butt to do it by yourself. Just put a brand new bumper, rear bumper on this truck, this small man's truck, and I <laughs> nailed it, let me tell you. But it looks like I just hit the hitch, not the bumper. <laughs> I just about pooped my pants because he didn't want to let me use the truck anyway. And that was close, but uh, anyway, just a little update. It never ends, guys. So uh, some idiot um, decided to not put a block under that. That's from, see, I, that's how hard I hit it, it drug. But anyway, so many didn't put a block under here and that hitch isn't long enough or got much of a drop up to it. This hitch is loose. That needs tightened up. We ain't got anything to tighten it up. But what we're gonna have to do is put that one on because it's a three incher, get it on there and then jack it up and then put something under it then lift it back up and then put the old one back on and then make it work. I mean, it's always something, but, uh, We'll get her done. Got the whole Dirty Max loaded down. Let's hit the road, baby. Got about an hour drive. Absolute piece of junk. But anyway, let's go. Hopefully this is my last trailer update. Get going down the driveway here and I'm like, wait a minute. Just like a light bulb, bulb turned on. I'm just been in a hurry. Look at this. You guys see anything wrong here? Yeah, I forgot to latch the tongue, dude. <laughs> That could have been awesome. Um, I've done that a couple times. I, that's why I always, I always stop and look at it because I know for a fact I'm gonna end up doing that. But anyway, now we're good to go. All right, guys. She's back there, got loaded down, and I just, I feel so good. Just, she's coming back home. It's just, I don't know. I just, I love racing so much, and I haven't had my car home for so long. It just feels like I'm complete now. So, dudes. Uh, you didn't get to see the car yet. It's the next day in case you're wondering. Just got busy and whatnot. But hey, it's where we're heading now. So go check that out. Give you guys some garage updates. I'm putting some uh, H2O in the old truck. And I'm going to limp her over to the shop. Just ordered a radiator for her uh, today. That was so glad I had to spend the money on that. Really didn't want to. But we're just going to throw some water in this thing. And see if we can make it. It's like five or six minutes down the road. It still hasn't overheated yet. So surely she'll be shot. fine. I'm just gonna fill her up as much as I can with some, some aqua. And I'll meet you guys over at the shop. I've got to do some weed eating and stuff and uh, we'll show you what's going on. All right guys, we're here and we're... Never mind, you know what I mean. I probably shouldn't say that one monetized. But anyway, check it out. She's st sitting where she's gonna be sitting the rest of the year. Uh, somewhere in the shop, obviously. But we got her home and I'm just pumped up about it um shop wise we still just been cleaning everything up um it's actually came a long long way uh just got all the junk out of here it's hard to see everything because we got cars parked in here that's casey's z28 in case anyone was wondering that thing's a absolute unit um i actually get to drive that home but uh anyway got the truck in here we're putting a uh, a balancer on it uh it got wore down so bad it literally started eating into the timing cover and it's leaking all real bad. That's how bad it is. So we got to put timing cover on it and a, uh, you know what I'm talking about. One of those suckers up there. And uh, yeah, other than that, shop's coming along. I came here today to uh, 
weed eat a little bit, clean things up. Um, come over here, this is kind of a, a bummer for us, but any of you guys that are local, um, this lot right here in between Casey's, I'll tell you what's really sick, the liquor store is right there. It's a walking distance, so is Casey's. So there's all kinds of food over there, so that's just sweet. But anyway, see these red right here and all this? They're putting in a family dollar right here. In case anyone doesn't know yet, they're putting a family dollar right here. Not sure why, because literally right there is a dollar general and this town is not very big, but we're getting a family dollar. So it's gonna be a pain in the butt in our way, but we're gonna make it work. But um, anyway, she's come along. Forgot to tell you guys, we also got a tire changer. Um, we're, look, if anyone local to Indiana or surrounding states has a good wheel balancer, uh, hit us up. We're, in, we're looking for one. But um, anyway, car wise, Real quick, I just wanted to give a quick shout out. You guys see the bulletproof racing on top? That's Andrew Pollock. He actually ended up telling me that he has got a YouTube page that he posts some um, some racing and some GoPro footage and stuff like that. So go check that out. Um, that's pretty sweet. He actually wins, unlike me. He, he races our uh, um, our local bombers and he races the super stock a little, but he's gonna be back in a bomber next year. And he said he plans on posting a lot of videos so go check that out that's pretty sweet i'll put a link in the description and also link in the description to another video of him but it's not his actual channel but that is i mean if you're into racing you go watch that video it's absolutely sweet you'll see what bulletproof racing is all about but uh yeah go down the link in the description and check that out but for the car um little updates you guys seen that double pass radiator that i was putting on um little update for it that thing is a beast because we are having so many issues with it overheating and literally it's running with no shroud and the radiator and then it get over 185 degrees. I mean, I, I can't believe it. The double pass, before I didn't have a double pass, and that's a brand new radiator. That made a huge world of difference. I mean, if you guys are in the market, definitely get you a Speedway double pass because they're cheap and it, it made a huge difference. So check that out. We'll end up putting a fan shroud on it. Go a little bit smaller fan, we'll put a fan shroud on it, but uh, Anyway, that's about it. She's here and she's ready to go. Um, ready to go tear her apart, I guess. Um, but anyway, I think that's about it. I know we didn't do much in this video, but I promise you guys we're gonna start making videos again. So here we are. We're gonna start cranking them out as much as we can. Let me know like what kind of stuff you guys wanna see in this off season. Obviously we're gonna be working on the car, but like, do you want me to make videos and like shop stuff, you know, like actual working on like normal vehicles like my truck? Putting a radiator in it tomorrow, is that something like you guys would want to see? I mean, I personally wouldn't, but um, show you guys how to do that. Just, just all kinds of little stuff. Just show, let me know what you guys want to see and we'll do her. Um, it's all up to you guys, really. Obviously, we're not going to stop with the race car. That's going to be the number one focus. And then Casey, hopefully we get him posting again. He's Like I said, he's been trying to. But uh, other than that, guys, I think that's about it. I'm going to go weed eat, clean up a little bit more. And um, yeah, just pumped up. We'll see you guys in the next one.